Hi, this is Joe Maceos from A Tutoring Enterprises. Uh, today I'd like to talk about how to graph inequalities on the Apple Grapher. Let's go right over to the uh, Apple Grapher. Got that on my dock, so I'll just click that over. Uh, these are the remnants from graphing a point, and I thought I'd just uh, quickly put out a video on how to do some inequalities. So let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. We really don't need it. Uh, we're going to put up a basic equation. Um, I'm going to show you some of the things that will work and won't work. Uh, of course, if we do something like y equals x, well, that's our basic straight line. Uh, we would like something a little bit more colored for ourselves here. And we can do that by hitting the uh, option, uh, I guess, comma to get that. Or the option period would get us that symbol. Uh, of course, the shift comma gets us the greater than or less than sign, and the shift period gets us, whoa, that's interesting. Okay, I guess that was a combination thing, and I shouldn't do that. Uh, so again, here's the shift comma, and now let me delete that, and now do a shift period. Okay, I just learned something new. If you hit the shift comma and then period, it turns it into a not equal sign, which uh, I'm not sure exactly how useful that is. I'll have to investigate that and see. But uh, look at that, we discovered something. In any case, if I want to do, let's just do y is greater than x. Uh, now, by the way, if you don't know how to do this when you're graphing, uh, normally they teach you to, to um, in the books, they teach you to test a point. And uh, for example, if I was going to look at a point over here, uh, note you never pick a point that's on the line when you test this out. But uh, if I was going to look at this point, which is negative 1, 1, Basically, I think of, okay, negative, uh, replace every x with negative 1, replace every y with 1, and then you ask the simple question, does y, is y greater than uh, x? In other words, is 1 greater than negative 1? And that's true, so that means it should shade up here. Now, there's an easier way to do it, and uh, I teach my students basically to uh, solve the equation for y, in which case this one already is, and simply read it in the following manner all the y's that are greater than the curve. All the y's that are greater than the curve. So, here's the curve. In this case, it's a straight line. Uh, we're using the word curve just to mean, you know, whatever curve or line happens to be drawn, so just the thing that's drawn. All the y's that are greater than that are above this, so that means that's going to shade this area. Notice we can do that without specifically referring to a point like negative 1, 1. All right, well, enough is enough. Let's uh, actually get on with the show and hit a return here. And there is the shaded region now that we're talking about. Um, you're going to notice that this edge here is not real clean. And, and so for that purpose, I never just do y is greater than x. Now actually in this case that's not horrible because uh, the uh, edge should not be defined anyway. It should be a dashed line if you remember correctly. But look what happens if I hit the the uh, option uh, comma which gives me well, let's do the option period sorry which gives me y is greater than or equal to x. I'm going to hit return and it's not a whole lot better. Uh, we're not getting any kind of extra line with this. So it really doesn't matter in terms of shading uh, whether you're doing the uh, equal sign or not doing the equal sign. So basically, you, you can just do the, the greater than sign. Now what I do is then I put in the extra line. So if I actually want y is greater than uh, or equal to x, I also type in y equals x and I get my straight line. Now, I might want to go ahead and also come over here and change the color of that line. Uh, let's pick blueberry because I believe that's the typical color that you're getting for the shading. And um, if I leave it at that, and I'll click off, you can see I've got a real nice line there. Now, it's a little hard to see, but and I've also got these little defects here. Now, these defects can be fixed. This is also coming from uh, basically the resolution associated with the inequality statement. So I'm going to show you that. Um, actually, I'm not real. 
I'm not liking the blue a whole lot, so I'm going to go back to uh, just black which they're calling licorice there. So there's my black line. Okay, so this would be y is greater than or equal to x. Let me show you how to take care of that little white issue. I hope you're seeing that. Um, if I hit inspector here, what you're going to see is it's a little different for an inequality than it was for an equality. And um, I can play with a few things. And specifically, if my students are going to be printing this out, I want them to save a little bit on the, the printer ink. And so I'll have them kick this down to like 40%, um, especially if I'm doing a, a set of inequalities and I'm not necessarily interested in all of this region. Um, to take care of the little issue that we're having right here, all you have to do is pump up the resolution. Now, if you just quit out of this right now, uh, it doesn't fix it. You actually have to hit this little, what, might be a button. It doesn't really look too much like a button to me, but this it actually is. And if you click this, it should clean it up. And there it is. It takes a little bit to do it because it's got to do more calculations that it's used to doing. Uh, basically, it's, I think, looking at more pixels than it would normally look at. And uh, so that gives you this nice, clean line. So now let's click off of this and go click off the equation. And there you go. This looks pretty good. It's, it's not too bad. Now, suppose I was going to do just y is greater than x. Well, what do I do there? Well, you know exactly what I'd like to do here. I'd like this to be a dashed line. So let's come over here and make this dashed. And you can just go to right here, click on this, and hit the dashes. And uh, you get to choose, of course, what kind of dashes you like. But I'm going to just choose that. You get the idea. You can play with it as you like. And this, this looks very nice, just exactly like I'd want it to be. All right, um, let me just do one more inequality to play with here. Um, let me go ahead and do y is, um, and again, I'm going to go with greater than x squared. So we're doing something pretty simple here. This is going to be a parabola. Um, again, it's a little bit ugly on the edges. But we're going to fix that in a little bit. Um, this is actually is a little interesting because we're going to be excluding this little region here, and it's the double region that ends up getting shaded. Um, again, let's go ahead over to Inspector. Uh, we're just going to, again, change the opacity down to 40. Uh, there we go. I, you can also type it in uh, instead of using the slider. Let me move the resolution over and hit the reset button. And there we go. It's nice and now and uh, again to get a line I want to do something like y equals x squared okay now if this was greater than or equal to that would be fine if I want to have this all just be y is greater than I can come over here and dash that line okay and there you go uh, so now we could see that the uh, graphical solution to these two inequalities would be this region here. And by, by the way, if you're doing this by hand, again, uh, on this equation, I could say all the y's that are greater than the curve. So anything that's left on this side is, quote unquote, the curve. So that tells me to shade all the y's higher than the line itself. So here's the, the curve, and shading up above gets me into this region here, uh, as you would have expected, including this region just for that curve. So clearly the double shaded region is our solution and all is well with the world. Okay, uh, there is something I want to warn you about. And uh, by the way, if you ever want to just get rid of a couple of things uh, temporarily, uh, you can uh, click those uh, arrows, uh, those little check boxes. And if you check them off, then whatever's still checked is still graphed. So there's the things that are. But let me go ahead and click both of those. Now, let's suppose that I'm going to do a circle here. And... Uh, this graph, graphing calculator has the ability to do what's called implicit equations, meaning I don't have to solve it for y. Uh, I can just type in the equation. So if I was doing something like x squared plus y squared equals, um, let's pick a nice 4, which will give us a radius of 2. Um, if the uh, axes are not equalized, you can hit this. Yeah, I guess they were just a little off, so that, that looks a little bit better for a circle. Um, and I guess it's even better now. Uh, so if I go and click on this now, uh, if I remember correctly, 
there's a bit of an issue if I go to try to dash this line. At least I hope it is. I hope I'm showing you the right thing. Yeah, there it is. It doesn't dash. And while it, it is okay graphing this, uh, at least this version of it, and again, I'm using an older version of Grapher. Hopefully they fixed this in the newer one. I haven't tested this out um, on the Macs that are at the school I, look at, I work at. But uh, this is the old first version that they, uh, they got after uh, operating system 10.3. The operating uh, system 10.3 did not have a grapher on it. 10.4 on did. And uh, they've since updated this, this software. Previously on the, the uh, early uh, OS X 10s and the OS, S9, OS 9s, they had... Uh, uh, a grapher from Pacific Tech, which uh, at some point I'm going to kind of highlight that because, um, quite frankly, uh, while I enjoy a Mac, um, there are people out there, a lot of people out there that are using PCs, and they're probably saying something like, well, you know, Apple it has this, but I don't have an Apple, so this is garbage. Uh, no, not really. I mean, you can get the same sort of things on this Pacific Tech calculator, and uh, somewhere in the future I'll be highlighting that because I have a copy of it. Um, so if I was going to dash this, what do I got to do? Well, I've got to do the old thing uh, that we would previously do before we'd have to solve this for y. So this would be y equals the square root, and this is our little uh, sort of separate uh, kind of, I guess they call it the equation palette. Uh, it gives you everything that's there. It, by the way, if you click on this, you get a lot of different options here than the ones that are just shown. Uh, some of these actually do work as far as shortcut keys, and however, I've found that a lot of them don't, at least on this early version. Hopefully, again, they've fixed that in the newer one. I would like to test that on a new computer. Uh, maybe that'll happen in the future. In any case, going back to this, we have y equals a square root, and we're going to have to have 4 minus x squared. Now, as you well know, that's only going to give us the top half of the circle. Uh, let me go ahead and click off on that on the uh, one that was underneath it, but it is the exact same top half of the curve. If I now go over here and do my dashing, all of a sudden you can see in the background there I have my dashing. So if I actually want this to, to look dash uh, and it's an implicit equation, well, there's no way, at least on this version, that it can do it. You have to go ahead and do the, the explicit form. So, uh, by the way, if I want the whole circle then... I'm going to graph uh, the whole thing and also have the negative. Remember, this is coming from when you take the square root of y, you get plus or minus the square root of the equation. So again, we would click on that, come over here, and do that. Okay. Now, by the way, if you're, you're a little bit smarter about doing this, what you're going to do is not do these one at a time you can click on both, uh, that is type in both equations, click on them together, highlight them both together. Oh, and by the way, to do that, you, you click on one of them, and then you hit the shift key down and click on the other. Uh, and that will get them both selected. So now you can go over to Inspector, and for example, let's just change it to something. You know, let's, let's do this one. There you go. You can see it changing in the background there. So now it, it does them both at one time, and that saves you the step of having to do them individually, which works really well if you're doing it to a lot of equations. Um, <clears throat> now, by the way, if I come back over here, I can also still do something like x squared plus y squared is less than 4, and then we can actually highlight that. Uh, again, the same trick uh, of smoothing out the surface we can do by highlighting the equation, coming over to Inspector, um, whether you do this or not, you can make this a solid color by going to 100%, and I'm not sure why you'd want to go down that low to a few percent, but you can do it if you want. Let's just keep that something like 54. And by increasing the resolution uh, and hitting this little button, wait a little bit, there it is, we have a nice smooth circle. And then with the addition of our other two lines, it looks pretty good. So, uh, if we now wanted to, uh, let's say, look at that, we've got both of those. Uh, so that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's uh, go over to our final screen here. 
this was A Tutoring Enterprises, and we were talking about how to graph inequalities with the Apple Grapher. Um, my name is Joe Maciars. Uh, my website is at www.tutent.com. My email address is tutent at neb.rr.com. And uh, if you want to get a hold of me, uh, of course you can do uh, the email, but you can also call me at 402-421-3536. Uh, I do online tutoring and, on Skype, and I do in-person tutoring in Lincoln, Nebraska. I can also do Skype in Lincoln, Nebraska, by the way. Um, and the... Um, don't you hate it when you just forget what, what you were going to say? Uh, I was going to say something about the tutoring... I don't know what it was, but uh, okay, listen to one of my other videos. I'm sure I said it there, whatever it was. Okay, let's go over to the white screen here. Now on this screen, uh, hopefully you're going to see all kinds of little links coming up to other how-to videos. Um, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the Apple Grapher, uh, please check out some of the other videos. And uh, if you liked this video, uh, please go ahead and hit the like if uh, you have the uh, uh, if you're on a YouTube account. Um, otherwise, uh, maybe just give me a call and let's get some tutoring done. Uh, oh, that's right, that's what I was going to tell you. Uh, I tutor in physics, math, and chemistry, uh, and usually I remember things a lot better than remembering the subjects that I just showed you. So. Um, Thanks for watching the video, and uh, uh, hit that like button if you can. Thanks a lot.